this screencast I will demonstrate for the first time filter effects in the new version of Inkscape 0.46. I will not take a comprehensive approach to filters since I am still learning how to use them, but hopefully in the future Richard and I will make more filter related screencasts as we gain experience. I intend to demonstrate three very simple effects, drop shadows, embossing, and turbulence. With any luck, at the end of the video, you'll be inspired to use some of these effects and expand on them for your own projects. So that I could get a fuller understanding of these SVG filters, I visited two websites. The first website is Tav's Guide to Inkscape. I reference this often. In it, he has written a draft filters chapter for Inkscape 0.46. To get a fuller understanding of filters, I recommend uh, you read this chapter. Also, I referenced Chris Design blog. In it, Christian has written a very short tutorial uh, for Inkscape 0.46 on how to make fire. And it's this effect right here that I'll show you. I recommend that you reference those sites often if you haven't already. Their hard work helped me produce this screencast and I must give credit where credit is due. Additionally, Christian from Chris Design has some amazing artwork which I'm sure you'll appreciate. So let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to double check is my document properties. And I've got this set for about 500 by 500. And the first effect that I'll show you is a drop shadow. We're going to start off by making some text. And I'll make this a shade of blue here. And I'll zoom in on this. And we'll push this off to the side for now. Next, I'm going to go into Object, Filter Effects. We'll slide this up here. And we're going to select New. The first time that you make a filter, you're able to right click on this and you can do a duplicate, remove, or rename the filter. I'm just going to leave this filter one for now. And next, what we need to do is add three effects. We're going to add a blur, we're going to add an offset, and we're going to add a merge. Okay, for the blur, we're going to highlight this. We're going to select this triangle, left click and hold your mouse button down, and that way we can uh, grab a hold of this uh, connector. And we're going to drop that off on source alpha. For merge, we're going to take this triangle and connect it to a source graphic. And we're going to take this second triangle and connect it to our connect it to our offset actually. Okay. So we'll give this a blur of 1.5. We'll give this an offset of 5. We'll give this an offset of 5. Having our text highlighted, we'll select the filter here. And actually what I need to do Let's move this to source graphic and this to offset. There we go. Got that mixed up there. Okay, so now you can see we've got a drop shadow and it's a little uh, extreme. So what I'm going to do is come in here to our offset. Adjust that. And now you see we've got a nice drop shadow here. What's nice about this drop shadow is it that it's a clone. So we can come in here, completely delete our text, give something new, and we've got the drop shadow still there. I can add a new shape. We'll go to our filter effects, having that shape highlighted. We'll turn the filter on. Now you see I've got a drop shadow. Now what I'm going to do is cut this away. And you see that I that the filter is smart. 
it'll follow the sh new shape so you can see that I can modify the shape and the filter knows what to do and at any time you can highlight your object and turn off the filter and that's the simple drop shadow okay so let me delete these things and let me show you the next filter the next one uh, is an emboss so what I'm going to do first is draw a shape I'm going to right click and duplicate this and I'm going to do a difference on that I'm going to make kind of like a washer okay and we'll make this a dark blue we're going to go to our object filter effects and you can leave filters in here you can build as many as you want um, so all I need to do is do a new here and we start building our new filter now for this one I've got a little bit of a cheat sheet here because uh, this one takes some time to set up what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a blur we're gonna add an offset we're gonna add specular lighting we're gonna add a composite we're gonna add a second composite and we're gonna add a merge okay now we need to connect the dots so the first thing that we're gonna do is select our blur and move it to source alpha We're going to make sure our offset is connected to our blur. For the lighting, we want to make sure that it's connected to the blur. Composite needs to be connected to the lighting. The second one needs to go to alpha. Our second composite needs to go to source graphic and then our composite connects to our first composite our merge gets selected to the offset and our second merge gets selected to are connected to the composite okay that looks like a crazy road map but that's what we need to do to set up this filter okay next I'm gonna highlight the blur and I'm just gonna leave this a one for now highlight our offset I'm gonna make this a two for now for the lighting I'm gonna select this color make it just a lighter shade of gray Move this back over here for scale I'm gonna make that a four for constant we'll make that a point seventy five for exponent we'll make that a thirty five and for light source we're going to pick point light. I'm going to make this a negative 5,000. We're going to make this one a negative 10,000. And for this option, we'll make that 20,000. Okay, I think it sets that one up. For composite, we're going to make our operator an in. For our second composite, we are going to change the operator to arithmetic. Select one here and one here. 
Okay, and I think that's everything. So I'm going to highlight the object and apply our filter. And you can see that that makes a very nice embossing effect, almost like a 3D effect. Here's what the circle looks like before the filter, and here's what the circle looks like now. And you can come in here with your uh, blur, for example, make that a little more pronounced, and you get a nicer blend around here. Nice highlights. I like that effect. Okay, so that's embossing. So let's delete this one. And for our next one, I am going to draw a. We'll draw a square and we'll make this black. And we'll make this full black instead of the tangle black. I'm going to duplicate this, make this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to make this orange. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take both of these and group them together. And we're going to go to our object, filter objects. Our filter effects, I'm sorry. And we're going to go in new here. We're going to create a brand new filter. And this is going to be uh, the turbulence filter. This is how we're going to make the fire. So what we need to do here is find turbulence, add that color matrix, add that. We're going to find blur and add that. Okay, the connectors are already set up correctly. So we need to highlight turbulence. And we're going to set this first uh, set of digits for 0 0.058. Turn on our link button here, and for the second uh, digits here, we're going to put 0 .011. Okay, that sets up that filter. For color matrix, we're going to double click on this last uh, set of digits, make this a 1, make the first one a 0, hop into the second row and we're going to change this one to a zero and the first set of digits we're going to change that to a two for the third row we want all zeros here and for the last row we're going to do a three okay so it should be a one a two here all zeros here and a three here and I see a 1, and we're going to get rid of that. Okay. And for the blur, we're going to select our link button. We'll make this a 12. We'll make this a 0. And I think that sets up the effect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select our object, and we're going to apply the filter. Now it disappears until you move this octaves button. So we'll move this back here. And you can see the fire effect. And since I grouped it together, let's close this. And we're going to ungroup this. We're going to go back to object, filter effects. And having just the orange selected, we're going to turn that on. And basically what this uh, fire filter does is uh, it exposes the background. So that's why I've drawn this uh, black background here. And it's also worth noting that you'll, you're going to get some artifacting here until you move it around a little bit and that kind of clears up the artifacting. So uh, that effect is kind of a neat one and that one you can play around with to get a little uh, different things there. <laughs> Excuse me. That's how you make fire. And we do that with the turbulence effect. 
And those are my three effects. So we've done drop shadows, embossing, and we've done turbulence. Thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.